All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and make this mobile responsive because we did desktop, now we did tablet, and we just kind of wanna understand how this looks for mobile, right? And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this information over here and paste that over here for the tablet. And, uh, you know, I'm just gonna say, tablet breakpoint and the page padding what we have decided is going to be 40 pixels right so we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of the rest right so we want this to be 40 pixels now let's go ahead and create a mobile breakpoint so I'm gonna start off by pressing F and we go to the phone we've got quite a few now we always want to start off with the smallest one which is 360 by 640 now we also have a 320 resolution but I guess it's okay if, you know, we don't consider this. I think 360 is what we want to start off with. So I'm gonna click on that and we're gonna get this. All right, and then I'm gonna call this website underscore 360 pixels. All right, and let's go ahead and duplicate this as well. And this is gonna be mobile and the page padding. In this case, I want it to be up 20 pixels. Ideally, make a lot of people set it to 16 pixels, which is also totally fine, but I'm gonna go ahead and just set this to 20 pixels for the purpose of this tutorial. All right, so I'm gonna start off by obviously making the background black, and we're gonna start off with the navigation bar. So I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna paste that over here. Now, the thing is, again, we kind of want to reduce all this. Now, I now on mobile, we don't want these three, these links that are there. We want them to be in a hamburger menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete all that. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and, you know, shrink down this frame. And we want this to be 20 pixels to the left, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the menu icon. Now you can use any sort of menu icon, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just use a normal, simple menu icon. So when you're creating icons, you always wanna start off with a small box of 24 by 24 pixels. So I'm gonna press, uh, uh, I'm gonna press R on my keyboard to get the rectangle tool. I'm just gonna create a rectangle and make sure this is 24 by 24, all right? And over here, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna go ahead and create another rectangle. This, I'm gonna make this uh, black so we can see it. Press R on my keyboard and we'll create a rectangle and give this a height of, you know, three. And then I'm gonna duplicate this and uh, make sure this is five pixels down and kind of shrink this up like this. And then I'm gonna select these two and group it and bring it to the center. Uh, oh, we gotta select all these three and bring it to the center, right? So, and then we, when we group this, this is pretty much our menu icon. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna bring that over here, okay? And make sure that this is in the center of the frame. Uh, which it is and also we want it to be 20 pixels from the left right so this is pretty much how our menu icon looks all right now the other thing i want to do is this feels too big you know it feels there's a lot of spacing so i'm going to reduce this down to 24 and i'm going to do the same thing over here bring the frame uh down until we reach a 24 pixel mark so i'm just going to go ahead and just move this two pixels up and uh, select this and reduce, you know, bring it to the center, right? So we want it to have a small gap of 22, 24 pixels on the top and 24 pixels on the bottom, all right? Next, now we're gonna copy this and paste it over here, bring it outside, and we're gonna take a different approach to this. Right now, these are horizontal, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this, copy this, come over here and paste it. Now here, it's gonna be a little different. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the width is 360, obviously. All right, and I'm gonna give it a height of around 288 pixels, okay? I'm gonna bring this down like so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to define, because right now we kept on using viewport height, but for mobile, I don't want it to kind of adapt to the viewport height, but you definitely can make it if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and set the height to 288 pixels. Next is we're gonna get this text. Now this text is again too big, so I'm gonna reduce the font size of this. And this is gonna be 32 pixels. So we do not have a 32 pixel over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlink this, set this down to be 32. And then I'm gonna create a new style, add this, and I'm gonna call this heading underscore 32. And uh, this is gonna be mobile, right? There we go. And I'm gonna move this over here, make sure that we've got 20 pixels on the left, okay? And the other thing over here is that we have been using a value of 120 pixels over here. Here it is reduced down to 80, all right? Here I'm gonna reduce it even further and set it to 48, right? That is the number that I'm gonna be using, so 48. 
okay and then we will shrink this down and make sure that this is also uh, 20 pixels from the right side okay perfect and also the spacing over here uh, we got to uh, here it is 32 so I want to make sure that this is also uh, 32 okay and then we can you know make sure that we center this properly yep there we go and let's go ahead and make this bigger and then I'll copy this text put that over here and uh, here I'm going to reduce this to 16 because 32 feels to be a quite big and then also reduce this down so that it touches so it's 20 pixels from the right yeah pretty cool so this is how we want to you know change it for the mobile breakpoint next up we've got the experience section okay uh, this again should be super easy so I'm going to start off by getting these two texts I'm going to bring this over here all right and obviously if I forgot we want to make sure that all this is in a particular group so I'm going to right click and choose a frame selection and we're going to give a space of 48 pixels at the bottom as well so I'm just going to move this so that it's uh, 48 pixels perfect and this also is going to be 48 pixels from the top now since this was 32 we kind of have to reduce this a little bit smaller than that but in this case what I'm going to do I'm going to leave this the same size as this okay so I'm going to go ahead and set this to uh, 32 which is over here so make sure that we get 32 over here there we go and um, let's see the spacing we've got 8 so let's do the same thing over here so reduce it down to 8 and uh, then we're going to close this up and make sure that this is 20 pixels from the left all right perfect and then we're going to take the first one which is our google one and what distance do we keep um, i'm going to go for something like 40 pixels so i'm going to go ahead and increase this to like 40 pixels and obviously we want we can increase the frame so that it's 20 pixels from the left and we can double click on this to put that into one line all right and uh, make sure that this is also 20 pixels from the left and I think let's start using these numbers so we've got 320 pixels so I'm going to select this and set this also to 320 and uh, as you can see the spacing over here is around 24 pixels so this I'm going to kind of attach it with this and this is going to be 24 right um, then we also got the frame so I'm just going to go ahead and collapse that perfect let's select next one which is our Facebook I'm going to bring that in make sure that the distance is 40 I'm going to go ahead and set this to 320 okay and so each of these texts are going to be 320 pixels wide and uh, yeah and then we can select these two and make this to be 24 pixels All right I think 24 might be too much over here so I'm probably going to reduce this down to 16 all right and let's do the same thing over here I'm going to reduce this down to 16 okay um frame again let's go ahead and keep this reduce this all right so here we've got 40 and we've got 40 and that is great um let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger okay and we'll get our third one which is our dribble and i'm going to move this inside and make sure that the frame is 320 all right these two are also going to be 320 pixels wide okay and uh, yeah, I think these two, we can set that to 16. And where is this? Yep, looking pretty good. Make sure that this is 40. And yeah, so we've got all these three things and we've got this text as well. So we can select all this, right click and choose frame selection and hold control and alt to drag it out to the side and control and alt so that it's 48 pixels from the top and 48 pixels from the bottom as well. Right, that's pretty much how we want to go about it. So we got one section over here and then one section over here, right? Next one, let's copy this and make a duplicate, okay? Great, now here's a really cool trick that I would want to show is that let's go ahead and ungroup everything, right? So we're gonna select this and group it and then we're gonna select this and let's just leave it as it is because it's a single object. Now I'm gonna select these two and I'm gonna press Shift A, right? And that's gonna put this into the auto layout frame. Now. All I have to do is I can go to horizontal and change that to vertical and bam, we see we have it the way we want it. So we didn't have to do a lot of arrangement. All we had to do was just set it to auto layout. And I'm going to bring this one inside over here. Okay. And uh, I'm going to select 
each of these elements and I'm going to set the width of this to 320 pixels. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of center align it. Now things don't look fine, so I'm going to move this outside and I'm going to clean this up over here. So first of all, philosophy and values, we want that to be 55 pix uh, 32 pixels. All right, and I'm going to double click on this and this is going to be 320. All right, and this is going to be 360 actually. There we go. And I make sure that we've got 20 pixels on the left and you know, it's 48 pixels from the top. Okay. Um, also the spacing between this and this is 24. So I'm going to select this and move this up. This is also going to be 320. All right. And we're going to center this and move this like 24 pixels from the bottom. And the other thing we want to do is we kind of want to define a height to these two elements because uh, also make this 360. All right, uh, because before it was, we had set it to 600, but on mobile, I think 600 might be too long. So I'm gonna probably reduce this down to 450 and make that a fixed width. And also bring this down, double click and set this to 320. And uh, select these two, make this um, uh, 24 and make sure we've also got like 48 pixels from the top. And also this one, um, we can group these two actually and uh, I'm gonna bring this down and uh, set this to 48 pixels from the bottom. All right, and uh, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna select these two and then just kind of group them in the middle and set this to zero. Okay, and this also we need this to be 450 pixels and uh, then we can kind of select these and choose frame selection, we'll bring that inside. All right, uh, I guess we've already got a frame. I want to delete that. We're going to grab this one and bring that over here, right? Pretty simple. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this a bit bigger. And now we're going to take the skill set section. I'm going to bring this outside. All right, so here we're going to, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and select this. Um, we obviously want this to be 320 pixels because that is too long. Uh, so yeah, we can select these two and say 320 pixels. Perfect. Um, and then we've got these four items over here. Okay. Uh, we've got one, uh, two, three, and four. I'm going to select all these three, move this to the left. All right. And also I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to say tidy up. Okay. So we have a, they're all equally spaced. And obviously we want each of these elements to be 320 pixels. So I'm going to say width 320 pixels. All right. And uh, again, let's select these again. Oh, we're gonna we kind of want to move the f frames also so make sure that it's and i'm going to quickly go ahead and ungroup all of this by pressing ctrl shift g and i want to go ahead and regroup these again because it's going to be a bit easier all right and then we're going to click over here say tidy up which is going to evenly evenly space out and i can come over here and reduce this down to be 24. um i think uh I think I'm gonna go with 40 or 48. I think 48 is a good number. And then I'm gonna group all this. So this is one set. And uh, obviously we kinda wanna fix this as well. So yeah, there we go. And uh, this distance is going to be around 40 pixels or maybe we could increase this to 48 if we need it. And yeah, and then we can go ahead and group these two and we can bring them in over here. Perfect. And make sure that the top is 48. But I feel that because this is too close to the top, I'm going to red, want to reduce this to 60. I'm going to I want to make that 64. All right, something that looks like this. And yep, that's looking pretty good. Now, as you can see, we did not use any sort of grid because we really did not have to because they're all taking up the space of the entire width of the screen. And uh, that is looking pretty good. Yeah, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and create the next sections of the website. I'll see you guys in the next video.